I think I understand why. As a child, everyone thought I was younger than I was because I was so small. They thought they could just come up to me and stroke my hair in because it was really, really blonde. This always made me feel uncomfortable and uneasy. I felt that I had to speak up to be a bit bossy because I was so small and people didn't take me seriously. At primary school, I wasn't too scared. I talked to everyone and I was so excited to go to high school, friends, new big place, finally to grow up. I wanted to have that girly friend and be like my idols. That dream never happened. I soon realised my friends didn't want to know me anymore. They were even ashamed to say they even knew me. I didn't look like them. I had these horrible glasses. I didn't wear makeup or do my hair. Sometimes when I look back at some of the photos of me, I feel sad and a bit ashamed. I sometimes wish I could go back and change things, but then that would have changed everything and I probably would be a completely different person and that would be a bad thing. Even after school, things didn't get too much better. Because of everything that happened at school, I had become so insecure. My anxiety slowly seemed to get worse. I started to be online more and more. I guess as I didn't have much life outside the online world, it was the only place I felt accepted. I started trying to go out and meet new people by volunteering once a week while I was going to CAMS, the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service. It was never constant or lasted as I felt much safer at home. I wanted to change. I, I still wanted that girly friend, someone to help me become who I wanted to be, to go shopping with, to teach me how to do my makeup. This never happened. Friends came and went. I guess people didn't understand me. I started to not understand myself. When I was 18, a therapist I had with the adult mental health service said I should be tested for autism. I was shocked and upset, but looking back at it, it kind of made sense. Maybe this was why I found things so difficult. The diagnosis opened up much more and better support for me. I now had a mentor who was supporting me to go to German classes, which was my dream. And I started to train as a volunteer, as a peer educator. I met my first boyfriend while volunteering, which I liked and I felt more normal. I was finally becoming more the person I wanted to be. Sadly, as I tried to start to go to college, I became so scared and my eating suffered. I started to self-harm and my boyfriend dumped me in public. Like what happened in the past, I started to go back into myself. A friend got me my star tattoo on my left wrist as motivation and a reminder to stop hurting myself. I got put on antidepressants by my doctor. They put me to sleep for days. I did this time complete my college course with an A in Intermediate 2 Maths and a C in Intermediate 2 English. Third attempt lucky, I guess. Two of my friends became pregnant around the same time. I was, was excited but scared our relationship would change. Luckily that turned out to be wrong. I got onto an access to nursing course. I was so excited and a week before I started my course, I met my second boyfriend at my friend's wedding. This felt so much different than before. I was so happy, then I became so ill. And on the Friday the 28th of September 2012, while in town, I went blind. I had an opiocolectic crisis, an allergic reaction to the drug stematol I was on as I had labyrinthitis. I was so ill. It took me six months to recover. I even had to drop out of college and my depression came back. February 2013 was my first Valentine's Day, my first Valentine's card, my first time celebrating this day. We went to Glasgow. I was so happy. I loved it. I wish it never ended. It was only for a night, but it was lovely. And on the 28th of April 2013, I got engaged. I had dreamt of this moment my whole life. I couldn't be happier. He had supported me through everything, even though I was so ill. I focused so hard on getting a job. I wanted a flat. I wanted a life. I wanted to be normal again. Our one year anniversary was what, like a dream. Being away again was heaven. 
as home wasn't too good. I didn't like being home as I had nothing there. I didn't have a job and I didn't see friends that often as much as I would like. And I was getting nowhere with jobs. I kept getting rejected. I felt like a failure. I felt really guilty that he was working and I wasn't. I wanted to get into care, so I turned down work experience with M&S to do the Social Care Academy, which got me a job offer. I would soon regret that decision, as I believe it cost me everything. After completing the Social Care Academy and my first job offer, we moved in together as I was going to start work soon. We started planning our wedding and looking forward to a life together. I didn't know that that job offer would never come. I'd sit in our flat panicking, bringing the place who had offered me the job, looking for alternative work, feeling so guilty, so ashamed, so stupid, that I'd actually believed that I was going to start work and that I was actually going to get a life with this person and that I was actually in my own flat and I was actually achieving my dream. My world was about to crash down on me. On Saturday the 21st of June 2014 at around 11 p.m. I was just out the bath. My mum came round asking what was wrong. I was so confused. I hadn't called her round. I hadn't even spoken to her that night. His parents walked into the flat and told me that I wasn't contributing and told me that they thought that I would never get a job and that I lied about the job offer that I had received. Things were said which I'm not going to go into and I ran off to a friend's in a massive panic attack. I felt as if I was going to have a heart attack and collapse on the pavement. I walked back to the flat and saw a van outside the house and his parents were moving things out of the flat. I was so crushed. On this same day I got on a letter terminating my job offer and I became suicidal and every day I rang the Samaritans crying on the phone. I couldn't eat and I couldn't sleep. I ended up in A&E and I lost my flat and I had to move back in with my parents. But in all of this, I've never felt so ter determined. I wanted to prove everyone wrong. I wasn't going to go back to the way I had been before. I took the work experience at M&S and four weeks after he left, I got five job offers. I ended up taking a job, which I love, and I wouldn't change anything for the world. And things have never looked better. I'm hoping to get my own flat again and live my life the way I want to. And hopefully find someone that will trust, that I will trust and that will care about me. I hope my story of my life has shown people that no matter what you go through, no matter what happens to you in life, you can always bounce back and eventually you will get what you want. And I hope this happens for me and anyone else who has been through the same experiences to me or worse.